It's already been more than six months, but the historic picture of the leaders from both Koreas holding their hands together in front of Mount Bektu's crater lake is still vivid in many Koreans' minds. Mount Bektu has symbolic meanings for Koreans. According to Korean mythology, it's where Korean history originated. But most Koreans were not aware that Bektu is an active volcano until several news reports emerged years ago as to the mountains resuming volcanic activity. Increasing seismic activity and rising concentration of volcanic gases were the indicators. On April 15th, there was a symposium sponsored by members of the National Assembly discussing the possibility of Bektu Mountain's eruption. One of the professors in the debate warned its repercussions, referring to the historic explosion back in the year 946. He pointed out that even if an eruption of one hundredth the size of the previous eruption occurs, it would have devastating effects on the Korean peninsula and its neighboring countries. Following the related news reports, the word Bektu Mountain eruption was trending on major portal sites for several days. The symposium warned of the dangers of the unpreparedness. For many Koreans living day to day, the threat of a volcanic eruption and the damage it would cause may sound like a scene from a sci-fi movie. But it's scary because the effects will be incomparable to other natural disasters if it happens. Our way of life can rapidly change for up to several years. Humans cannot stop natural disasters, but at least we can be prepared. If the threat is for real, the government must raise public awareness and people should think about what to do in the worst case scenario. Mount Bektu has both cultural and historical significance, but most are unaware that a volcano can erupt at any moment. Mount Bektu is sacred for the Korean people, but underneath its beauty lies a destructive, active volcano. So I said Mount Bektu is sacred for the Korean people. Uh, sacred means it's uh, respected, loved, and very special. Like you really shouldn't say something bad about something that's sacred. It's usually what someone or a group of people love. So religion can be very sacred or places of, of worship can be very sacred. And in Korea, Mount Bektu is very sacred. And I said, under its beauty lies a destructive, active volcano. So two types of volcanoes, active and dormant. If it's active, it means it's still spewing or spilling out lava and can erupt or cause a volcanic explosion. If it's dormant, it means it's sleeping, it means it's no longer active and there's no more volcanic activity. Increased seismic activity has raised eyebrows around the peninsula and people think that a potential eruption is imminent. Uh, so I said increased seismic activity. Uh, so seismology is the study of earthquakes or study how the earth moves. Seismic activity is when the earth underneath us is moving, for example, earthquakes. So I said seismic activity has raised eyebrows. So raising eyebrows means it's kind of caused interest in people. People have seen these reports, and now more and more people are becoming interested in uh, the seismic activity or earthquakes. And that's usually an early sign of a volcanic eruption. And then finally, they said that uh, people think that a potential eruption is imminent. Imminent means it could happen very soon or very quickly. If something's imminent, it's about to happen. Thermal activity, along with increased frequency of earthquakes, has people in the region worried about a devastating supervolcano event. So I said thermal activity. Uh, thermal activity is when um, scientists look at the uh, temperature of the ground and the gases coming out of it. So seismic activity is earthquakes. Thermal activity is more uh, of gas, temperature, and even gravity is being tested. Um, and then I said that uh, people are worried about a devastating supervolcano event. Uh, supervolcanoes are uh, volcanoes that have erupted before and can erupt again. So Mount Bektu is at what we call a supervolcano. Yellowstone is a supervolcano. These were volcanoes that had very devastating, destructive eruptions in the past and will possibly do it in the future. If there is an eruption, 
all the countries in the region will suffer, not just North Korea. The blast radius and the path of the volcanic ash will have a negative effect on all countries surrounding Mount Bektu. Uh, so first, I said the blast radius. Uh, so if you have a circle and you draw a line through the middle of it, that's what we call the circumference. But uh, if you cut the circumference in half, that's the radius. So it means from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. So whenever there's an explosion, they measure the blast radius. So for example, uh, Yellowstone had a huge blast radius about a half billion years ago. The blast radius was, uh, I believe, 100 kilometers long. So that's 200 kilometers total of a circle around. Um, anyway, so if there's a big blast radius, it will release a lot of what we call volcanic ash into the air. And the volcanic ash will spread over the region and basically cause winter-like conditions, kill crops, destroy machinery. Uh, so it's really bad, really negative effects. We shouldn't panic about the possibility of a natural disaster. However, we should always be prepared if something happens. Hope for the best and plan for the worst. We should not constantly worry about the end of the world. At the same time, we should always have a plan if an emergency arises. Uh, so hope for the best, plan for the worst. It's an expression we commonly say. It means that you wish everything will go well and you really hope that uh, you know everything's gonna be okay or a business will succeed. But the second part says plan for the worst. So you wanna, in your mind, hope things go well, but you should be prepared if something bad happens. And thanks guys. Also, thanks for uh, following me on Instagram at M-A-T-T-S-S-A-M. Thanks again, bye-bye.